Welcome back all my haulers and ballers, go-getters, the ones that grind, wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, say I'm gonna get money today. We're heading on out and we're cutting a sailboat up today. It's gonna be me, the redneck, and my brother Debo. So stay tuned, we're about to chop this bad boy up and make some cash, oh yeah. Look who the hell showed up. And guess what guys, I got a special treat for you today. So the redneck tried to be early today and was happy in a good mood. And I went to Safeway at seven o'clock this morning. Redneck needs a burrito and the team needs water. So I picked up water, I'm waiting on my burrito. Fire. 20 minutes later, Fire. guess what? It's not hate, it's heritage guys. The redneck remembered something. I'm from a rare Indian tribe the Wapaho tribe. You mess with my burrito, I'm gonna whop your hoe ass. America. Wow, good morning to you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, about to get this done. So here's the first job of the day, and it's a sailboat. We're about to chop this bad boy up and load it up. The trailer's not going, it's just a sailboat, so. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Got the redneck in the tundra. We're about to get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is hook this chain up to the boat and yank it off the trailer. Tundra versus sailboat. Let's see what happens. All right, go ahead. Go slow. Good, got it halfway. Stop, right there's good. Do we need these plants for anything? I think just go in the garbage. Garbage. Good. Nice. So it is yanked off the trailer. We're all good. Now it's time to get the cutting. And yeah, the redneck brought his chainsaw. So we're about to get to it. While we eat some chicken. Yeah, sir. Who do you think's gonna win? Leave a comment in the comments below. Redneck with the farm boss. For the sailboat. My money is not on the sailboat. It's time to get it done, baby.
about halfway done. So this one time, right, my homie Debo, he was heading to this church. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a. If you guys want to hear about don't trust a fart, you better go visit the hunting channel when that comes. We're gonna keep it kind of classy here. Wow. <laughs> so what are we doing right now? We're gonna, we're gonna hook this beast up. Can't pull it over. Right? Yeah, flip it over and then cut it up. From the redneck. If you guys want to buy, buy a tool, buy a good one. So if you're gonna buy a chainsaw, buy a steel. If you're gonna buy a chain, buy a big one. Just do it once. You won't have to do it again. And you can come out here and do stuff like this. We rip up sailboats, sheds, all off bodies. <laughs> Mother-in-laws, whatever. Hell yeah. Yeah, if you guys are gonna buy a saw, it always sounds good, you know? I mean, this saw serves purpose. I made good money with the job I bought it for. But that's all it was good for. Now it's like little odd shit, like sailboats and, you know? Well, come on, my dick's bigger than that. So, the steel chainsaw though, you can cut through do anything with it and it'll last long. About what? 500 pound piece right here? Maybe 400, 500 pounds? Hey, no way, we're getting it in the middle, man. You watch me, dude. <laughs> Do you have a sailboat that needs to be hauled off? Uh. I will meet up with your wife and she can show me where it's at and we'll take care of it. Wow. I gotta check out the check out the inside room though. <laughs> <laughs> so prediction at the dump fee, sir. Hundred dollars. I'ma say one twenty one. Hundred and thirty nine dollars. Hundred and thirty nine? Thirty three cents. And I know I'm accurate. Here I'm gonna throw this in just at thirty three cents. Hold on. This guy. Let's see what happens. So an hour and 35 minutes later, we're done. We cut that bad boy up. We have one more piece to come back and grab, plus a couple lawnmowers. Other than that, the sailboat is cut up and done. And yeah, all we used was two chainsaws, a sawzall, a sledgehammer, and a pry bar. And that's pretty much it, and we got it done. So I'm heading to the landfill, and don't be scared to get it in there and get it done. You might pull up to a job and you don't know how to do it, YouTube it. You gotta make that money. Don't be scared. Scared money don't make money, guys. So, predictions are in and uh, yeah, made some good money in an hour and 35 minutes. Leave a comment down below how much money you think I charge for that sailboat. And the closest one will get a $50 gift card. I'll mail you a Home Depot gift card. So, leave a comment down below. The first one that gets it right, you only get one guess. Leave it in the comments down below what you think we charge for that sailboat. Just the sailboat, nothing else. What do you think we charge for that? Hour and 35 minutes worth of work. Three guys, so let me know. So I knew the redneck was gonna win. I wanted to change my bet, but I didn't want to do it. It was $71. It was 1,100 pounds. I knew it. Oh well, we won. I'll just lie to him and tell me they didn't win. And so we're back here, baby. Pushing that button, baby. It's all about pushing that button. And I'm gonna say it again. If you guys wanna make money, don't be scared of jobs. Don't pull up to a job and think you can't do it. Just figure it out. YouTube it, get in there and just get it done. I made a lot of money just YouTube and stuff, figuring stuff out, so. 
do the same thing don't be scared so we're heading on back and maybe you guys are watching this video maybe you got off work and you check out this YouTube channel and you're trying to figure out how to start a business and you got to keep that nine to five job I totally get it I kept my nine to five job for a long time I think it was through the four seasons I worked the four seasons doing junk removal and doing my nine to five job until I was had enough money put away in the bank and I felt comfortable enough to quit my job. So I totally get it if you're living paycheck to paycheck and you just got enough money to pay your bills. The key thing you need to do is just believe in yourself. If you got a game plan, set some goals up and just have a game plan and just stick to it. Maybe you want to start doing junk removal part time on the side after work. That's what I did at first. I started off at just doing it on the side after work. I'd work eight hours and go do hauling for another six to eight hours every day every day i can get a job after work i got tired of working that nine to five job i wanted more money so now i live a comfortable life and life is just a blessing now the way i'm living so don't be scared i'm trying to motivate you guys to get off that couch maybe you guys are watching these videos take all this information and use it i'm heading back to pick these guys up or actually i'm heading back to load some stuff up and get the hell out of there and go do another job and get paid more money so we back for round two and this is like a dream house. All this property right here, where I can park trailers, dump trucks, bring trash home, sort stuff, burn wood, do whatever I want to do. Shoot the bow, have a garden, buy more vehicles, bring the boats over here. This is what I want. So I got a goal going after it so yeah we're, this is a beautiful house we're back for round two baby round two so we got that beast right there we need to load up so what I'm gonna do is pull in front of it back up to it and use the lift gate and just roll it in there lift it up and roll it in suckers heavy huh the battery that thing right there oh yeah let's go this size the heavier size yeah there you go good yep Push, push this way? Yeah. Oh. So thank God we got a lift gate because this thing is no joke. It's a beast. If you just got a trailer with no lift gate, good luck. Thing ain't no joke. And voila, we got it in. Thank you, baby. I'm about to get the lift gate a kiss. So there's some bees right here. And this guy is... I'm paranoid. Scared of bees because he's, he's allergic to bees. Get out, dude. Don't be scared. Hey. I'm scared. <laughs> Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Any last words, Brittany? Break time. El Braco. <laughs> now I stepped in some dam. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Fucking bad, huh? No, I'm hella itchy though. How about you? I love it. So look what the customer gave me. A bunch of eggs. Now we're gonna take off and make some more money. So if you guys like these videos, hit that like and subscribe button. Alright guys, till next time.